Hello everyone, a very good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all of the viewers from around the world. This is your host Vaibhav. In uh, today's session of J4F Indicators Explained, we will be continuing our uh, regression series in which we are looking at various regression indicators. And uh, now for this session, the turn is uh, regression channel. This is the modified version of linear regression channel which we saw earlier. So if you have seen uh, the concept of that indicator, this indicator is uh, almost similar, but we have some additional tools available for further customization. So that's what uh, makes this uh, indicator in particular interesting and also more adaptable for uh, whatever is your trading style. So let us now head to the J4X4, the newly released trading platform from the Ducoscopy Bank SA. This is the Euro JPY chart and I will change it to the most traded currency pair Euro USD. Okay, here it comes and if you simply do a quick search, if you type in regression, all the regression based uh, indicators will appear. So now we have seen these uh, three indicators earlier, the linear, linear regression channel, the linear regression intercept, linear regression and also we saw the linear regression slope and angle. Now it's the turn of regression channel so we consider here. Okay, now from the chart you can see that uh, this indicator in particular takes a lot of data into consideration while calculating this uh, channel. So we have 250 bars worth of data being considered. That's 250 hours worth of price data while forming this channel and that stands for more than 10 days 24 hours one day so we have 250 hours being considered as we have this each candle period defined at 50. Now if you look at the chart you will notice that even though this uh, ch channel is formed using this much data still it uh, seems to fit in to the price formation quite well. Of course, we will have some instances where the price action is going to go out of these uh, indicators channel and that is going to happen from time to time, but it fits quite well compared to what we saw in case of the moving averages. So this is what makes this indicator interesting and also compared to the moving average this indicator tries to project the price on the basis of the prior data it is not taking actual average price it is trying to project the price based on the regression method so this is a projected price for the current hour and uh, using that regression price we add some standard deviation in this case two standard deviation to arrive at this upper band and the lower band and uh, since this is a projected price, this is what the regression method is expecting the price to be. And if there is some deviation from that, then the support and resistance channels are also plotted. So the classical interpretation of this indicator is almost similar to what we saw in case of linear regression. We use this middle line as a guiding light for defining the train if it is uh, sloping upward then that is indicative of the bullishness and if the price formation is taking place in this upper channel of this uh, indicator then that indicates that the trend is quite strong strongly bullish and if we have this uh, price channel sloping upward but now the price action is dipping on the lower side so that is the time when we have to get cautious this is also a uh, possibility that the trend might have run its course and it now might be reversing so be careful and plot the strategy plot your uh, trading system accordingly so that's how we can utilize this indicator see on which side the trend is and in respect of that trend where the price action is happening whether the trend is gaining further momentum or if the momentum is waning and if the trend is likely to turn so this indicator will warn you in uh, in a way where you will have time to change your strategy and adapt to the changing dynamic of the market situation 
now let's consider its customization options as i gave you one classical interpretation of this indicator you can always come up with uh, newer ways you will have to carry out your own observations and see how well you can figure out the ways to utilize this indicator for working with your system if you are an intraday trader or a swing trader or a positional trader you can always utilize this indicator using multiple time frames suppose if you want to utilize larger time frame data points you can do that as well and quite easily so so here on this four hourly chart you can see that this price action is uh, concentrating closer to this uh, middle channel the trend defining line of the regression and uh, it has been bullish for quite a while now for almost uh, most part of this week uh, this month as well as the second half of last month the regression channel is telling us that the price momentum has been quite strong and uh, it is even now unfolding in the upper band of this uh, larger time frame data and now if we have to consider how things are shaping up on the daily time frame chart we can do that as well so we get this uh, freedom of working with multiple time frames and looking at these data points to see how the things are shaping up on each time frame and then whatever is your trading strategy you can try to optimize the entry and exit in light of these data points so here on this daily chart also the momentum has shifted to the upper side and this price action is now unfolding in the upper band of this regression channel which is indicative of strong bullish sentiments and as a result of that if you have been trading in a bullish manner with uh, strategies like buy on dips you would have been profitable for most part of this month so far as we have seen euro usd climbing up on most part uh, most part of this week as well as last week now i will uh, give you some of the options of how you can customize this indicator to make it work for you applied price applied price is the price point using which this indicator's channel formation will take place so this is one important input price and depending on what kind of applied price you are using you will have slightly different plotting variations in this uh, channel so please pay attention to this shifting graph and uh, accordingly you will have to adjust when we use high price as the defining factor defining parameter for this input price you will see this channel has now shifted upward and the moment i change it to low price it has shifted downward and in this case the lower price is fitting quite well while in the first instance when i was using high price the upper price was fitting quite well so this is expected as we have this regression plotted calculated using this applied price it will fit in more closely whatever is your input price so that is that's what makes this indicator quite interesting so you have to carry out observation and whatever is your strategy then you will have to apply these uh, different input prices okay so now i will revert back to the default setting the degree of responsiveness of this indicator is also quite important and you can vary it from one on the lower side to 10 on the higher side and as you change its value you will see this uh, graph changing substantially now if i change it to 5 it has uh, slightly changed let's try a more extreme value of say 9 and uh, with this you have this regression channel which is quite responsive and it is trying to fit in the price wave as closely as possible as you can notice so you have to see these uh, different types different options given on the platform 
and using that you can always carry out your changes now if I change to say one with this here it is uh, being plotted more or less in a straightaway fashion there is not much of a fluctuation so you have to define this uh, parameter whether you want this indicator to reflect the immediate turn of events whether it should be responsive to the immediate price action swings or not so accordingly you will have to define the degree input parameter again i am reverting back back to the default deviation standard deviation line now you can enlarge or reduce these bands so whatever is your regression line standard deviation will be calculated from that line now i am using one standard deviation so as a result of that these bands have contracted if you want to enlarge these bands you can do that easily this is simply the amount of uh, standard deviation which is being applied to this uh, middle band to get this upper and the lower band quite easy to understand and also accordingly we will have this uh, resistance and the support line plotted let's revert back to the two standard deviation okay the number of bars in which uh, you want to use you can vary that suppose if you want to reduce the lag and increase the responsiveness of the indicator you can do that as well so here as a result of that now we have the indicator formation with only 100 being the calculation period so last 100 hours worth of data is being taken into consideration while forming this channel earlier it was 250 so lower the number of uh, calculation period you will have more responsiveness being observed in these uh, final plotting of the indicator and that is quite expected that's with the input parameters similarly you can always play around with these uh, output parameters and uh, all you have to do is go with this color combination i think this is also a fine color combination but if you are not really satisfied with it you can always change it you can go for different styling combinations also suppose if you want to make this line more prominent you can increase its width and uh, you can opt for no uh, we will keep this as it is we will opt for the other lines you can always reduce the transparency also suppose if you don't really want the chart to look cluttered so now here you can easily guess how things are shaping up at the same time the prominence is being given more to the candlestick data and on top of that we have the layering of this regression channel levels levels are not really going to work with this indicator much as this is going to be purely dependent on the price action data so it is going to be very difficult to add any meaningful levels to the charting if you want the indicator's output to remain stable and uh, since this indicator takes into consideration a lot of data points this is a, this option is not going to be that much impactful as we were seeing in instances of other indicators so this is uh, not much applicable for this indicator but still if you want the current price current applied price to have impact on the output of the indicator you can you have to opt out of this option else if you opt in then only once at the start this value will be calculated then that will remain constant throughout the current candle period highlight the time period zone whatever is your calculation period it can be highlighted if you simply point this cursor so whatever is your calculation period it will be put under highlight it will be 
easily recognizable so you will get the idea of the calculation period at the first glance customization can also be done for further calculation you can go for the instrument charting you can use this indicator on almost all of the instruments available on the platform so you have this uh, indicator working for you almost all these uh, indicators commodities currencies indices so you can use it wherever you want and it works fine with almost all of these instruments and also you can make the calculation independent of the current candle period and you can keep it fixed as well so for that suppose if you want the candle period of the calculation to be defined using four hours regardless of what's the charts candle period you can do that as well so now here this plotting of the regression channel is happening while using the data of four hours even though the chart is of hourly suppose if i change it to half an hour still the plotting will be based on the candle period being four hourly and this channel is will will be appearing the same regardless of what candle period you use on the chart it's taking some time to load but i hope you got the point what i am trying to say so let's revert back to the hourly formation or even four hourly so here on the four hourly we have this plotting on the four hour hourly also same four hours now i'm reverting back to use from the chart the spread side can be asked or bid and there will be slight difference depending on the spread of the underlying instrument but not much the trajectory of the indicator is going to be the same if you want the indicator to be available on all the candle periods you have to opt in for this option else you will have to define on which time frame you want this indicator to be available and only on those time frame the plotting of the indicator will be done now if i opt in for only 15 minutes and hourly then this indicator won't appear if i change the chart candle period to say four and four hourly or even half an hourly there won't be any plotting of the indicator but if i go to the 15 minutes we will have this plotting of the indicator so that's how this system works out for you hello tadavook this is the regression channel indicator and you can use it how do you how do i add it to the chart you can simply go to the quick search type in the regression channel and it will appear all these regression based indicators are listed okay and here is this indicator is regression channel or if you want to know where this indicator is listed simply go to the add indicator option and you will find this indicator amongst the statistics maths uh, let's see okay here it is statistics function below the linear regression channel which we saw earlier okay so you get these two options f3 or f4 you can use any of these buttons and if you do quick search simply type in regression and you will have this indicator okay I hope you got the point. So now, guys, I'm signing up for the day. I will be back on Monday with a new indicator where I will try to explain its concept and, of course, some of the uses, classical interpretation, and uh, in addition to that, the customization options also. So that's all for uh, my side. If you have any query or any idea to share, you can write it in the comment box, the feedback, and I will be more than happy to take the discussion forward. So signing off for the day and the week. See you on Monday. Have a fabulous time ahead. Thank you all for joining in. Goodbye.